Anyone who wants to achieve widescreen photography using the Super 8 format uh, would benefit by using Max 8. We've already done quite a few projects that have used the Max 8 format, including the new up-and-coming John Mellencamp uh, feature documentary was shot entirely in Max 8 framing. So, how do we achieve Max 8, the maximum amount of image you could get on a Super 8 frame? Well, first off, we have to modify the actual physical gate of the Super 8 camera so that more picture can be put on the film. So rather than the traditional 4x3, you get a 158 negative on the film. This involves expanding the gate out to the complete right side of the frame so that picture can be put where there used to be a soundtrack. The second thing we have to do is you have to take the lens position and we have to move it over a little so that it centers in the frame. We need to move the physical optics of the camera so that it's centering the picture that you're shooting rather than having just some extension on the right side. And the final step of doing Max 8 is we have to modify the viewfinder system. In the viewfinder, you want to be able to see what the resulting 16 by 9 frame is going to look like so that you can frame your subjects properly in your traditional Super 8 camera. To do this, we put in frame line markers so that you can see the physical 16 by 9 frame uh, in your Super 8 camera. And again, you don't have to have any modification with the film. So you can use Kodak film, Pro 8 film, uh, any Super 8 stock will work in Max 8. It's a modification to both the camera and to the scanner. There is no way of using Max 8 frame Super 8 film in a scanner that hasn't been modified so that it can reach the edges of the Super 8 frame. Uh, we use a M2 uh, 4K scanner for doing our high definition work and we had to have a custom gate modification just like in the camera for the scanner so that we could scan the full Max 8 frame when we're doing our transfers. Currently there's a fair amount of R&D that has to go into the modifications, so we've only designed the modifications for a select group of Super 8 cameras. These include the Canon 1014 XLS and 814, the Beaulieu 7000 and 6008 series, and of course the classic Super 8 camera, the Beaulieu 4008. Uh, those three cameras have full Max 8 mods, and we have adjust a wide gate modification for the Canon 814 so you get the wider gate in the camera but you don't have the full optical centering and viewfinder modification that you would have in a full Max 8 uh, camera modification.